name's Tyler and I have a car buying problem. I'm really not trying to buy any more cars since I have, I have plenty, but now people are seeking me out, trying to sell their basket cases to me. I get emails all the time. One recently was a DeLorean, kind of following up on that one, but most of the time I'm able to totally resist because they're too far gone or just too far away. But this one is actually a friend of mine and it's a 1997 Mercedes SL 600. I actually know the car well because I sold it to him four years ago. Now, a lot can change in four years, so I'm actually on my way down to check it out and probably buy it because once I see it, I, I know I'm gonna want it again. Well, there's the big chipper. That's me, making the 1-800 call right now. <laughs> what do you got there? This is the, seeing what this car is really worth. Oh, right, calling your uh, attorney? Calling Hoovy's Garage. Calling Hoovy's Garage. Looking Good. for the wizard. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you. It's been a long time. It has been. Yeah. And this is pretty familiar to me. It is. You uh, sold it to me. I did. A long time ago. Yeah. It was a 97 SL600. And how many miles are on it now? 80, you sold it with me at 82,000. I think there's 84,000. Really? So you haven't driven a lot in five years. No. Why not? Uh, it likes these right, right, right here. Likes to be parked. Well, it looks like you had a little bit of fun here. Got new tires. And yeah. You sold me the wheels. Oh, I sold you those too. Yeah. Boy, I was quite the wheeler dealer back then, wasn't I? Word. Yeah. Look at that big old V12. It's fast. So the whole car has hydraulic suspension, and for shock absorption, there's these little accumulator balls where, when you hit a bump, the hydraulic fluid goes in there, and when they collapse. It fills with fluid, the suspension collapses. Sometimes it pops back up, but you can check the level and see if there's a no fluid in here or it's really low. It's usually where it went. It's kind of an expensive fix, but not too bad. Still worth a little over scrap, you know? All right. God, it sounds it like a brand new one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a car dealer too. He knows a few lines. So yeah, the one thing you always check with these is the top, right? Well, oh, unless it rains or it's 100 degrees outside. Drive fast. It stopped. That's a limited edition. <laughs> That's, is that a windbreak there? So it doesn't work all the way? No. It's possessed, Tim. Yeah, it might be. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> well, let me try turning it off and back on again. And control, alt, delete. back window's good on it. What's it worth if it was all fixed up? They've gone up in value a little bit since I sold it to you, that's for sure. Maybe, maybe 15? And the top, those hydraulics, that's a lot to go through. Same with the hydraulic suspension yeah. and the cosmetics. I mean, you know, for me to have a little bit of me on the boat at the end, probably five grand is the number I'm thinking. Five grand is the number I'm thinking. So we're great minds, we think alike. We are. Well, we got a deal, man. We got a deal. Thank you very much. Yeah. Alright, just got some air in the tires. They were a little low. Got a cold drink since I'm in a convertible with no air conditioning. But it's a $5,000 Mercedes V12, so I don't care. Whee! remember exactly what I paid for this thing four years ago, but it was something like, I think eight or $8,500, and then I sold it for a couple thousand dollar profit. So I did pretty well back then. But these things have gone up a lot in value in the last few years. So to get it for $5,000 is just a steal. Man, does it still drive great. I can't, I can't believe this. Hydraulic suspension is just so smooth, but even smoother is this V12. The power is effortless. Oh my gosh. And the car just oozes quality. It's it's insane. Oh my. Oh. Wow. That was
goes up to 60 real fast and actually I'm surprised how smooth it still is considering it's been sitting for years and the tires have got to be flat spotted. It feels a little weird. Maybe those hydraulic accumulators are bad like I talked about earlier but overall it's still a really solid car. This is crazy. There are so many cool things about this SL600. I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm first going to pull over and get a better look at this thing in the sunlight. It's so pretty. Oh my god, $5,000. There's just no way. There's no way! So you millennials who don't appreciate anything that's old will probably at least appreciate these numbers. The first being this car's original MSRP, which was $123,000 or adjusted for inflation. That's today's money, about $200,000 or just shy of it. Also, 389 horsepower under here, a six liter V12, which it's more horsepower than my same era Ferrari F355. But unlike the Ferrari, this car was built to be the ultimate luxury touring car, and it certainly delivers even 20 years later. It's a little dirty in here, but it's still beautiful. Notice the engine. It's actually running right now, and other than the light hum that's only slightly louder than your home refrigerator, you would never know that the silky smooth V12 is running. Look at this intake. There's no plastic to cover up all this V12 goodness that kind of looks like a pipe organ, and it's just beautiful to look at. Now, ignore this hood pad that's falling apart, but look how smooth it is, so smooth. My sunglasses, they're barely even moving, and it's so smooth even when you're driving and you're accelerating, you have no idea how fast you're going because the power curve is just so smooth. But take the engine away and the rest of the car is almost perfect. The hydraulic suspension gives a totally insulating land yacht feel, but it can also be firmed up if you want things to get sporty. And you can even hit a button and raise this thing a few inches so you don't do things like hit a curb, which happened to this car. Now the interior of the SL600 was also dressed up with a leather stitch dash and these subtle two-tone seats, but also look at the incredible quality of this car and the lack of gadgetry. Now I know I've said this a number of times, but I long for the days when luxury was measured by the quality of the materials and the build and not by the latest technological wonder. But I'm not saying this SL600 isn't advanced. It has traction control, it has ABS, it even has a roll bar that pops up should things topple over. And there's all these other luxury features, but they all have their own buttons, normal, regular buttons. The seats have lots of adjustment to them, like a modern car, but you don't have to go into an info touch screen submenu to pull up everything. Same goes for the heated seats, all the suspension controls, really everything that you would want short of a car that drives itself. This really is as evolved as cars got before they became smartphones on wheels. That's why I love it so much. Now, don't get me wrong, I appreciate a new car just as much as anybody, but this is the kind of car that I picture in my head when I picture luxury. And unlike today's cars that are all kind of styled the same, there's no mistaking this for anything but a Mercedes. Now, clearly, the car has issues. The most worrisome is that top, which could easily cost what I paid for this car to fix, but thankfully, I have the car wizard. And I know he's gonna love this thing too, because he's gonna make some money. Lots of money. All right, we've got a little bit of a drive into the car wizard, but this thing's doing great on the highway. I can just sit the cruise and relax. This is insane, a $5,000 SL600. <laughs> cruising down the highway like it's nothing. Little peasants in your Avalon. It cost you probably $35,000. <laughs> This place is so big! 
I can do a full circle in here. It's a merry-go-round shop. Uh, uh, that's a that's great. Okay. I have your favorite job. I love these. You've done a few of these before. Look at this top. It's a little weird. It halfway works, which is not what normally happens when the hydraulics go bad. See, it goes and it goes and it goes, and then it doesn't go no mo. It's not leaking anywhere on it. Right. I'd say there's probably electrical, like a micro switch or a broken wire or something. That's that sounds nice. cheaper than hydraulics. Yeah, a lot cheaper. Really? Yep. Okay. Well, here, I'll turn it off. It kind of falls over when you turn it off anyway. Yeah, I don't mind my tape here. Isn't that sad? <laughs> yes, but under the hood, it's quite yummy. Hmm, that's a big motor. Yes, six liter V12. My hood insulation's falling down. I definitely got to get that addressed. Mm -hmm. Get the top addressed. It's got a brake light warning that comes and goes, and then that squeak. And then when I bought this, I guess before I arrived, the suspension had collapsed and the fluid level is low. It's also a little harsher over the bumps than it should, so probably those those balls, those suspension accumulators, right? Those spheres, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Should you do those? Yep. So that's, uh, oh, the air conditioning doesn't work either. Of course. It's very hot, so that's everything I know about, but there may be some more mysteries lurking underneath. We need to lift it up and find out. Yeah. Are you ready? Up she goes. <laughs> Um, yeah, my bumper's it's a little jankity there. It looks like somebody hit something and ripped the rivets. Yeah, it's cracked up too. It's still going to need to be painted, but at least you can mount it back on there for me so it's not held by duct tape, right? Right, we can do that. Got leaks? It's like engine oil. Really? Oh, it is pretty wet in there. You can't see because of the... A little more there on the steering rack. Yeah, well, it's not coming from the steering. Oh, this little, this is a steering stabilizer and it's shot, it's blown out its seals, that's what it is. Oh, I see. It needs a new steering stabilizer. Not a big deal? No, a little bit, something there, but that's not uncommon for something with miles on it and years. Yeah, just kind of a it, wet like, yeah. diff, yeah. Probably not worth addressing, no. but it's there. Well, I guess you can investigate and write me up an estimate. I mean, $5,000 that I bought for this thing I can't lose. No. The old Hoovy would have flipped this thing. I was a car dealer once. I actually sold this thing for a decent profit, and now it's worth more. But this very one, this very car, yeah, wow. yeah. But the uh, the hoarder in me that I've kind of he's kind of taken over nowadays. <laughs> well, I'll leave it in your capable wizard hands. Maybe I'll come up and play, help you. Okay. Uh, help, right? Help. <laughs> yeah. yeah, help. Not not really help. Supervisory but, help. Yeah, a very supervised help. But I'm really looking forward to this car. And uh, yeah, I think I'll leave it here. So thank you for watching. If you want more updates on this car, be sure to subscribe because we've got a lot of work to do.